Hey everybody, so I wanted to do a quick video about masks because we're getting so much information right now that we haven't gotten before <sighs> because it's a different administration and people like Dr. Fauci are not like muzzled anymore. So one thing that they keep talking about is double masking. Okay, I get it, really difficult, um, but um, these cloth masks, right? They have two layers of 100% cloth okay and then there's a filter pocket in most of them there should be so you can add your own filter so that's three layers while it's not a hundred percent effective if this is all you can get do it it's better than nothing i mean wouldn't you rather have some protection versus none so just do this if that's all you can do now Apparently the best mask on the market is this. This is an N95 mask and it has like special layers of protection on it. Um, so that way it prevents any kind of particles from coming out or going in. So if you can get an N95 mask, I would definitely recommend you do it. However, they are very, 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 very uncomfortable. But I wanted to show you, I have asthma, so I definitely have a hard time breathing, okay? I don't like things around my face, but you know, just got a deal. So this is how you put it on. So you want both straps, okay? And it messes with your hair. So this is what I sometimes do, okay? I'll just pull my hair out. Pull the one strap up. And this is your N95 mask. So you can still have pretty decent hairdo kind of like puffs out a little bit but that's okay right so this is the n95 mask this is what they recommend you get now as you can see it fits really really snugly to your face okay but i can still talk i can still breathe okay i would not recommend wearing this mask if you don't have to for long periods of time for the healthcare workers that have to wear this for 8, 10, 12 hour shifts, I do not know how you do it. I give you so much credit because I can wear this to the store and I think the max time I wore it for was like a half hour and then I just, I couldn't wear it anymore. Like it was just too much for me. So to all the healthcare workers out there wearing the N95 masks, man, I don't know how you do it. I would personally wear this, like if I'm going to spend a long time in a crowded store, if I have to go to a doctor's appointment, something like that to where I'm going to be in a closed space for a long period of time. Um, so that's me. Now, people complain about breathing issues. Like I said, I'm talking, I'm breathing, it's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Now I'm going to go ahead and double mask. So I'm going to pull this down, I'm going to pinch that off so that way it's a tighter fit, okay? I'm double masked. I have an N95 and I have a cloth mask on. And guess what I can still do? I can still breathe, I can still talk, and at least it looks cuter than the N95, right? Like you got this pretty flowers and it's covering more of my face and I just feel better right? I can still talk, I can still breathe, and I have an N95, and I've got a two-layer cloth mask on my face. So anyone that says that they cannot breathe, if you are on oxygen or you really have that bad of a breathing problem, you need to stay away from the stores because if you get COVID, the chances of your survival are not going to be good. <clears throat> but again, I have asthma, so I have a hard time breathing anyway. <sighs> Okay, those are really deep breaths for me, and I'm perfectly fine. I'm not getting lightheaded. It's a little uncomfortable with the N95. I'm not going to lie. I don't like it <laughs> at all. It's very tight. It hurts my ears. I don't like it, but I'm wearing it. Okay, you can do this. I promise you can do this. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take my N95 off and I'm just going to put this cloth mask on because 
Another thing that people are just not doing right is they're not wearing their cloth mask properly, okay? You want to have a wire that goes across your cheeks, okay? So that way, it's snug to your face and you can still talk. Again, I can breathe just fine. It's perfectly okay. It covers a, a, my entire face, okay? And if I stick a layer in here, I usually put Kleenex or a coffee filter in it. I guess they have like charcoal filters if you can find them. Hey, whatever you want to stick in that filter pocket, you go right ahead. For the video purpose, I didn't stick anything in. But I mean, look, you want to wear it above your nose. And I don't understand how people wear it like this. That is the most, un hitting your nose, oh my God. Like, how do you do that? First of all, you still breathe particles out of your nose, okay? Your nose is still respiratory. Cover your nose. And if it's because your mask is too small, find someone local who can make you a bigger mask. You see this? This is a large mask, okay? I took the pattern for a regular adult mask and I made it bigger because I have a big face, okay? <laughs> and it just fits my face better. So, I mean, what's the problem here? There's no issue with wearing a mask and wearing it properly, okay? So, look, I'm breathing, I'm not fainting, I'm not lightheaded, perfectly fine. Wear your mask, whether you wear one, or have a filter pocket and put a filter in there, or you wear two masks. Just wear a mask. We can help slow or even stop the spread of COVID if all we do is just wear a mask.